Infirm Humanity, written by Omnea Okasha. Central London High Street Day. We're in the near future on a London street with more relatively updated electric vehicles zooming the streets. Sophie, looks 20, crosses the street and heads towards a shoe store. She has satin black short hair, perfect complexion, dressed in a trench coat over straight jeans and a colorful patterned shirt with a button collar. She skips over a water puddle and enters the store. Inside, there are rows of paper thin screens with glass like keypads fixed on standing units for shoppers. Sophie spots an empty unit. She lays her handbag on the floor and presses on the homepage. An old lady uses the unit next to her. Sophie smiles at her. Hi. On the screen, Sophie presses on the icon, boots. Then she presses on filters. Then she chooses size, 38, color, black, style, ankle boots, and a variety of items appear off the screen. Sophie clicks on the boots she wants. She notices a cute guy looking at her from another row, but he shies away and turns his eyes away. Sophie smiles and returns to the screen. The boot ordering page opens and in red, it says last piece. Sophie clicks order and it says sign into your account. She types in her information when an alarm sound beeps from the unit. Sophie looks at the bold writing on the screen, text. Suspicion of robot activity. Please confirm humanity. Sophie is puzzled, looks around the store, but there are no workers around. The unit alarm continues to buzz, so she presses next. The alarm stops. A man's voice is heard from the computer. Please put the headphones on for the convenience of our shoppers. Sophie reaches for the headphones attached to the screen. She smiles at the old lady and puts the headphones on. Please enter your global security identification number. Sophie types in a 27 digit number straight away. No need to check a card or a saved photo. You will now be guided through a short series of sensory tests. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Frustrated, she clicks next. Detect the shape. A kaleidoscope footage appears on the screen, swirling and fluorescent entwining multiple shades of yellow and pink. Sophie shuts her eyes from the blinding lights. Choose the shape that best matches the footage. Sophie scans the three identical shapes given as options. She lifts her hands in the air, clueless, exhaling her confusion. She randomly clicks on one of the shapes. A red cross sign appears on her answer and the unit beeps. Sophie forcibly clicks next. Please write the words showing on the line provided. On the screen, the road not taken. The phrase appears with a line drawn underneath it. Sophie types the words on the keypad, but the unit beeps again into her ears. Shit. The shopper on the other side looks at her. It's a father with his five-year-old son. Sophie turns her head away. Please use your finger to write. Biting her lips, she starts writing with her finger on the screen. Her handwriting is childish and shaky. She gets off the line once. Sound. Beep. Sophie scowls but goes on. She gets off the line again. Sound. Beep. Sophie goes on squinting at the screen till she finishes the phrase. Beep, beep, beep. Piece of shit. The old lady next to her moves away from the unit, scrutinizing Sophie with a look from head to toe. We're almost there. Please identify the fragrance and pad to spray emits. Sophie sniffs and rubs her nose, ready for the challenge. A misty dust is puffed into her face. She closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. On the screen, a list of options appear. She taps the icon, roses. A green tick shows on her option and a nice ring sound is heard. Huh. Well done. Now, please identify this fragrance. Sophie closes her eyes again and waits for it. She sniffs the mist and her eyes and nose squeamish in disgust. She opens her eyes and out of the options on the screen, she taps on fart. The green tick appears and the ring sounds again. The little boy next to Sophie makes a gagging sound. 
Sophie looks at the father and son next to her. The little boy holds his nose and gags again. That wasn't me. I swear, it's the unit. I, I, didn't, I didn't do that. I don't do that. I don't do that. The father, grossed out, takes his son and moves away. Sophie dips her face into her hands. One last test. Please make the sound of these letters. T-S-K. Uh, Sophie. T-S-K. T-S-K. Please make the sound of these letters together. Beep. I didn't quite get that. Please make the right sound. Could you repeat that, please? I have a tight tongue, okay? Sophie holds onto the keypad and leans on the screen, shouting and stuttering at it. People on other rows are now looking. Last attempt. Please make the right sound. Sophie looks around. She grabs her handbag and pulls a plastic cutlery case from it. She lets the bag drop, tears the plastic case, gets a knife out and presses it against her tongue. Then she utters the sound. Thank you. Finally, a few questions. Please answer in the fewest words possible. Sophie breathes heavily. She's drained and just gazes at the screen like she's lost. What are you like? What am I like? What kind of stupid question is that? What am I like? What are you like? Sophie takes a moment, struck by the confrontation. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm like. Um, I'm, I'm nice, I suppose. I'm, I'm, I'm kind. I care for others. Um, oh God, I don't know. I'm patient. You can tell that for sure, isn't it? What are you missing out on? Oh, wow. Um, I honestly, um, oh, I never thought about it. I think socialising. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I tend to look for people who are more, are more like me. I guess I could start put, to put in some effort. And What used to be a big deal to you? Sophie stares ahead, lost in her thoughts. She opens her mouth, but takes her time to think. She's somber now. Everything. Everything's a big deal for me. Having a boyfriend. Being accepted. My whole existence is still a big deal to me. It's hard. Life is hard, and then when you think, kind of, what is your purpose in life? Oh my god! I just want to shoes. The cute guy from before carries a box, and on his way to exit the store, pauses to look at her. She doesn't see him. Test complete. Sensory results: incompetent eyesight, unsightly handwriting, efficient sense of smell. Adequate enunciation, character results, low self-esteem. Sophie gawks at the screen, taken aback by the judgment. She's offended by the streaming shunning. People pleaser, social climber. What? Horny, impressionable, with narcissistic needs for validation, shallow perception of life and lack of purpose. Sophie enraged. Prances on the unit. The right. entire store watches. Yeah, listen to me, you dated, no life, multi recycled, and reused piece of fucking garbage. You think you can judge me on my life purpose? And I'll just listen to you. Humanity confirmed. You can collect your order from the till. How would you like to pay? Sophie exhales. She pulls herself together and fixes her coat and hair. Internal, shoe store, till counter, day. Sophie arrives at the till to a smiling young female till operator. 
We are so sorry about the malfunction. We just updated our security system and it's a bit over the top. Robot detectors? I know. We live in their world now, don't we? Hmm. I'm afraid your boots are out of stock now. I I'm so, so sorry. There's many similar styles if you'd be interested. You'll just, oh, you'll just have to pick one from the unit. Sophie glares at her with all the swears in the world. Exit the store, stomping as she thrusts into the street. Excuse me. Sophie turns around to find the cute guy waiting by the gate. He approaches her, combating his shyness. Her face still carries anger. I, uh, I noticed you were struggling with your unit. Um, so I asked at the till what was the problem and... Uh, Sophie shakes her head at him. He presents the box to Sophie. Well, there you go. Sophie, confused, opens the box. She gasps. It's the boots she wanted. She looks back at him. Cute guy rubs his neck and smiles. Sophie smiles back at him. Tech whiz. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> um, thank you. That's just... Thanks. No problem. I got a tight tongue too. Oh, oh God, no. <laughs> no, no, oh. serious, seriously. It was so cute. <laughs> oh, God. oh, I just want shoes. Oh, my God. Well, they are great shoes. <laughs> Can I have your number? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> they both take their phones out and just tap their phone corners on each other. A bleep sound is heard. They smile at each other. Sophie is about to go her way when she turns back and extends her hand. Um, I'm Sophie, by the way. Cute guy steps forward and takes her hand. I'm Ben. <laughs> Cute guy shakes with an electric current through him. Sophie, shocked, looks at the ground. He stepped in the water puddle. She lets go of his hand. Cute guy drops to the floor. Sophie looks at her hand, a twitching electric wire protrudes out of her hand. She rubs her fingers on her palm and the skin fuses instantly. She looks around anxiously. A homeless man across the street stares at her. Sophie runs. The end. <laughs>